Hi everyone, it's Madeline here. It's Sunday morning and I'm out here, I'm at church. I'm um, out here in, in my church with uh, all my, my people, the trees, and um, oh, just soaking in this fall weather. It's a little bit cool, yet the sun is just so crisp. And as we um, move towards the equinox, which is an important time, um, it's an important shift. So uh, this weekend I've been really participating online with some of these uh, summits that um, um, around uh, healing and feeling good in your life and um, uh, life mastery um, and um, you know mindfulness this type of thing and what I've really noticed is that all almost all of the guest speakers are speaking about uh, love and compassion and self-love and embracing yourself and and all these places that um, are the other they really are the end point I mean there's there isn't an end point but you know the this is where we want to end up but you know along that road I don't see anyone really addressing you know in the healing of trauma the anger that arises and what I've seen is that anger is not something just to, is to be healed or to be gotten rid of but it's actually a portal through to our life force energy and to to really healing and not covering up and putting a lid on who we are um, in favor of who we should be so anger can often be um, a covering, a protection for heartache and heartbreak that we've had in our lives, for disconnection, for of, of severing from perhaps our loved ones or the earth, that we really are reclaiming this wholeness. And really a necessary part of this is to move through the anger with a curiosity, with a safety, with, with a love to see what's on the other side. And that is, you know, it's really embracing our belly, our womb, the lower parts of our body that have been disconnected and shamed. And through that portal, being able to rise into our heart, into our voice, into our higher self. And a lot of the teachings over the last, you know, decades have been about mindfulness, about, you know, the higher self, the, the you know, the third eye chakras. But really life exists in the body and for women this you know being coming into our womb space into our root of safety is really uh, sometimes the place you just want to sit and stay and naturally you'll rise in through to to um, love in your heart but for as long as you're protecting heart ache and heart break um, you know there's more of a forced move into your heart and love and that can really be a huge bypass of your humanity so there's my words there's my sermon from church this morning let's really move into our humanity into our body into our root into our womb and move from there and that for me is when when things really started to move and shift and I'm here to guide you through. So um, contact me, reach out, join a Sacred Rage Salon. It's be, you know, can be one of the most transformative things that, that um, you can do right now. All right, take care and all the best in your own healing. Bye for now.